Good morning, YouTubers, friends, followers, subscribers, Trevorites, lovers, but mainly haters. Thank you for taking the time to watch my video. It means a lot. You're helping my channel grow. But I've been up since five. Yes, my dog needed the bathroom. I heard him moaning and little little moans from him, little moans from him and I had to do it. I had to leave the house in my PJs and take my dog. So I've sort of been awake ever since. Woke up this morning to many, many messages. Yes. Yes. But it's Saturday morning. It's Saturday morning. It's the weekend. I hope you're going to have a great weekend. And I'll explain as we go along. There's been lots in the media. I've been all over Twitter. I'll explain that in a second. And it's brought in the people that I thought it would bring in. The trolls. Which is fantastic. But you know what? Compared to Dominic Raab, I'm in a good position, aren't I? Yes, I have. I haven't resigned from a cabinet minister role where he he was accused of being intimidating and bullying. That was his accusations against him by a high member of the civil servant senior team, which I find strange now because now he has resigned. There's been... <coughs> Whispers coming out. I don't know what they're called. Coming out and saying. He did raise his once voice. He did raise his voice once to a senior member of the civil servants. Who went behind his back and authorities. And spoke to Spain during Brexit. And told the Spanish authorities. That after Brexit they could still have their Spanish cops and stations on Gibraltar. That went against what he had stated. And apparently it broke the civil service code of conduct. So that was a time when he did raise his voice. Now that senior civil servant who was shouted at by Rab by going against what he asked to do was the one that put in the allegation for bullying. It all makes sense now a little bit. I've never met Dominic Rab, so I do not know what his kind of demeanour is or what he's like, but some staff are saying that he was a decent guy. Others have got issues with him. So, yes... Very delicate situation. Right. Coming out this morning as well, find out that 10 million, 10 million UK citizens last month alone gave up in trying to get a doctor's appointment. Yes. Well, I had one last month. My doctor's quite good, actually, but I had one last month and... Uh, I found that there was a bit of confusion between me trying to get to my doctor and what the receptionist wanted me to get to my doctor. Uh, so it was a bit of confusion there. Whenever you, when you say you need something, uh, I understand that receptionists maybe have a list and they prioritise different things depending on what's wrong with you. I get that. But I also find it strange that I'm having to tell someone that's not clinically trained my diagnosis, or should I say what I think is wrong with me. I've always found, I've always sort of went, hmm, it's a bit wrong, isn't it? Can I just see my doctor? It's private. You know, but I suppose they're doing a job. You've got to get on with it. What else is happening? The late Sir Bobby Moore, who lifted the World Cup in 1966 wearing his famous red shirt. That's went missing from his ex-wife's house, Tina. Yes, she... She believed she had mothballed it up and put it away in the attic and it's not there anymore. And the reason why she knows it's not there anymore is because a private, a private dealer has put it in an auction for sale and is keeping his identity uh, covered. Surely, surely the police will find out who that is and find out why they're selling a jersey which wasn't actually up for auction. Allegedly, it's worth millions. I don't know. But I suppose it's worth a few pounds. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. Millions, though. Millions of pounds for football jersey. That's where we are today. Millions of pounds. What else? Right. I will mention this. I think it was about a week ago, maybe up to 10 days ago, I was in a private conversation off screen in the green room with a another YouTuber and a moderator. And they showed me, they showed me that they could 
put a name on the King's Coronation invitation card. And I thought it was hilarious. And I used that opportunity. I said to them, make me one, make me one, please. And they did it. And I put it on Twitter. I knew it was going to get attacked. I didn't think it would see thousands and thousands of people interacting with it. And I wrote the headline above this card. I'm in front of Harry. Again. And it triggered a lot of people off. It really did trigger them. It triggered them. And I was like, oh, this is fun. This is fun. And a lot of people knew. Uh, I spoke to people uh, behind the line. Well, in WhatsApp message, we were laughing about it, saying people are really, really upset about this. But a lot of people are giving you praise. I mean, yeah. Anyway, um, fast forward. Tw fast forward to 24 hours ago. Day ago, yeah, it doesn't matter, but a day ago. I'm on Twitter, and I know I get trolled on Twitter. It's an awful platform, but I I sort of use it to sort of have fun. I decided to, to delete my platform last night, or yesterday afternoon, which just was the hit. It's just that they hate. Right, so, as you're all probably fully aware, I have received the Royal Assent for a petition that I did maybe 2021. I started in 2020, I think. Don't quote me the dates. I started it then, uh, I pushed it and pushed it, it had thousands of signatures, it got to where it needed to go, it was debated in the House of Commons, it got passed in the bill, it got passed in the House of Lords as a bill, and it received a royal assent. There's no debating that, that is there. I have written off for a copy of the royal assent, and I will have it as soon as possible. And I will actually carry it around in a frame and show you it all, okay? However, what I did do for a bit of fun was I stuck something out on... Well, I, I stuck it out here and I was like, yeah, yeah. And I did it to trigger people. And oh my God, did it trigger people. Uh, wow. So um, that had a fallout. It's like, Trevor, uh, I even had a laugh about it this morning with my own parents. It's like, oh, Trevor... Uh, you forged the Queen's signature? Well, I didn't forge the Queen's signature. It's her signature. I put a little paragraph in the middle, which was a bit of fun. However, however, it has triggered a lot of people. And if I have triggered you, I apologise. But I like having fun and trolling trolls. If it wasn't for me putting out things like that and trolling trolls, they would win all the time. Anyway, stand, stand by for when it does arrive. And uh, I will be able to show you it. But uh, it's just shocking the way that people behave. Thank you for your time. Thank you for watching the channel. It is fun. Um, I find that life is a lot funnier and a lot more or less serious when you're not on Twitter. Uh, it was silly of me going back, but I only went back on Twitter last year to speak to YouTube, and that resulted in just hit, 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 hit. Listen, sing when you're winning. Have a great day, everyone, and most of all, stay safe.